What's up everyone and welcome back. This is episode 14 of The Road to SSL, the series where I walk you through play-by-play -play with how I'd rank up as a top 0.1% rated coach. In this episode, we are just shy of GC and we got some questionable solo queue teammates. So for any of you struggling to carry solo queue or who just wanna learn how to solo carry without mechanics, this one's for you. Also, if you're new here, my name's Luke and what I'm actually better at is coaching. I actually run Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap, where we specialize in helping plat through champ rank players rank up in six weeks or less. As of 11.51 a.m. this morning, we have just 15 spots left for enrollment. So if you're on the hunt for that GC title and want in before we sell out and have to temporarily freeze, DM my Discord with the keyword 14 and we can talk details. Hit the first link down below to join my Discord and message someone on my team below. Otherwise, let's get into the games. Jumping into game one, we got Spark. All right, let's get him, Spark. Gonna cheat up as always. Cheating is just straight up better. This ball's gonna bounce center. Gonna hit it into the corner just so I can grab this corner boost and then keep rotating through. Maybe get a demo on this guy? I do. This might give my teammate an opening. Let's see if he centers this ball. It's very awkward, so I'll just wait behind him. Let him get a 50-50 and play the boost here. Ball's gonna come up. I can maybe jump off the wall and get a shot. It's a tough angle, so I'm gonna assume you can't get that. I'm gonna stay up here just because I know my teammate's low boost. And he's going back for corner. I can probably pick up a demo as I rotate across the field here. And now I'm back on this ball, waiting for it to come center. It looks like he has this. I should have got scored on there. That should have, we should have got scored on, but it'll be all right. I'm just going to keep this in the corner. Nice ones over committed so I can move up the field quick. Flick over one, maybe play by second. Not quite. Shaking off the rust a little bit, but we'll come back. Got corner boost. Going to watch a shot here. That's not in. Now I just got to get in the way of the other, and maybe we can move up the field quick enough here to get a goal. I see my teammate center. Uh, I can't quite get there in time. So just going to keep rotating through, pick up all these small pads, and I'll play the midfield. Ball center, but it looks like he has, so I'm going to wait. Still looks like he has. He doesn't have. Nice. My teammate rotates out. He makes it very obvious he's rotating out, which I like a lot. And now I can look for a demo. I don't get the demo. Did I get the demo? Let's see. I don't know. Point is, whenever I'm like moving through the corner guys and there's only one guy left in goal, that's almost always the best play to go for it right there. You want to just center the ball and just try to take out the goalie and leads to a free goal. So one up. Nice shot from Sparky. This ball's going to come center. So I actually might wait here in case my teammate does center it. I don't think he's going to be able to get a center here. Nice. He has one. I should have this guy beat here. I'm just going to put it high and awkward for him. Wow. He actually hits that. I was expecting him to miss. We're champ three. Like that is not a that is not a gimme. So oh, unfortunately I get bumped. But wow, I'm surprised we didn't score there. This ball is coming to me, so I can beat him very easily. Once again, just gonna put it high and awkward and just grab their corner boost and let my teammate go. This is how you keep pressure going, guys, against people who are low boost on defense. Unfortunately, my teammate goes for an air dribble into their corner. That's gonna let them off defense. So we'll just have to regain. This guy tosses ball, so I can turn up the field quickly here. I'm going to hold down power slide, so that way I try to recover. If I have a slightly better recovery there, we should score. If my teammate gets it by him, it's a goal. Oh, unfortunately, I get bumped. It's a nice bump from him. My teammate is behind me, I think. I'm going to get behind my teammate. I always prefer to be second one back, so I'll play back here. This ball is going to come center. I don't think he has a shot, so I'll wait for the pass. And because I wait for the pass, maybe that's a free goal. Oh, slightly off. He'll clear that to the side. I'm still going to wait for the pass, though. Ball's going to come down center, and that'll be a free goal. I was tempted to go for boost there, but like the fa if I have 30 boost, I can I can score a ball that comes center. So I wait there, and it ends up paying off. Nice pass from the teammate. My teammate's doing a great job this game, feeding me, uh, feeding me the ball. I'll cheat up. Ball's going to come high. I don't think this is scorable, but I'm going to keep watching him just in case. Nice. He hits it around. That's an unproductive touch. I can just focus on 50-50, keep it in my corner. Now my teammate has a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to move up and take corner boost just because we have such an advantage here. Looking for a demo, couldn't get it. Now I'm just going to play back. He gets a very heavy first touch, so I'm just going to single jump and try to stay in the way. Now I'm just trying to force him. My teammate looks like he's got it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him keep going. Spark is Spark is actually a very good player for champ three. He is definitely, he should rank up. My teammate's playing very well. He's staying behind the ball. He's forcing possession for me repeatedly. Like this guy is uh this guy is seriously better than champ three the key there is that first touch once i get that good first touch then i can take it for an air dribble a little mechanical on the finish but the air the the first touch is the key 
Spark is playing great, though. That ball's going to come to the side. It'll bounce high. We have time. It's closer to me than it is to him. So he's got no angle. Even if he shoots, he doesn't have angle. I'm actually going to cherry pick here because I'm, I'm trusting Spark a lot this game. I should not have trusted Spark. Relax. Don't hit it, Spark. I thought Spark was going to hit it, <laughs> so I got scared. I'm going to go low. Looks like he has high. And I'm just going to wait center here. In case he misses his double, I want to cover this ball coming center and watch. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, watch the first touch. I was trying to... I'm trying to improve the first touches. Double tap opportunity here. Nobody's covering the backboard at all. Okay, so like GC1, GC2, this does not fly. Like this is a, the only really good play I have with that ball is a double tap because it's coming down already and it's so awkward. They should be covering the backboard there. GC1, GC2, if they have one, one guy backboard, that's like, I mean, it's just, it's so free, but can punish them just because they, they don't have a guy backboard. That's fine. All the way back here. He's going to clear the ball to the side. This guy definitely has low boost, so I can just keep controlling boost, and I'm not really scared of, you know, many shot attempts, as long as I keep covering the net. He's going to go for a bump. I can hit this up and go for an air dribble. The first touch there has to be precise. Um, probably a little too mechanical. I should chill with the mechanics, I think. Definitely getting mechanical this game. I'm just going to keep playing it across, keep controlling my corner boost. And keep letting them overcommit. We now have a 2v1 again, so I might look for a demo here if my teammates got that. And because my teammates going for a cross map air dribble, the demo's not going to do anything. So that's why I bail off of the demo. This guy hits it away. It looks like he might go again, but he's low boost. So I'm just going to let him keep hitting it. Like, I'm really not scared of any of these touches. We should be fine. I can maybe challenge sooner there if I want. This guy looks like he's got a good recovery, so I'm going to shadow. And that will allow us to be fine. And I actually missed this boost, so mm, bag it up. This guy is low on boost, so I can just get over, dunk, wave dash by one. I'm low boost here, so I need to flick this by. I'm just going to keep moving out. Here, I'm just going to grab boost, and it looks like my teammate flipped out. So I'm going to flip back in and challenge, and now we can get mechanical. Let's go for a double. One, two. No! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right fair enough but well, that'll be game one definitely getting a little mechanical but to be honest i would chalk that game up to my teammate being very good all right getting into game two we're now playing with uh spice all right cheat up as always cheat up here ball's gonna come to the side my teammate looks like he might still want it. i'm just gonna go back because he's gonna stay near it looks like my teammate's letting me go so i'm gonna hit it up pass it back to him so i'm gonna try to recover and i'm just gonna get back post this is super awkward Hoping my teammate clears. Great, he clears. And I'm going to get to my, the other back post. Oh, he centers. So I'm a little scared here. We're fine. Clear it high. Check if they're challenging. They're not challenging. Just fake jump. Keep hitting it forward. And grab boost. Recover. I can wait in the center now. My teammate gets a nice beat. That's going to bounce high. Uh, I was hoping it would roll up a little bit more. I'm just going to block his double here. Oh, no, teammate. Uh, we're fine. A little questionable, but we'll be all right. I'm just going to try to get this out and get back post. All right, sweet. This is going to come across. Should be able to grab half boost. He hits it off wall. I'm not concerned. If he has a flip, that's fine. Just catch it. Hit it over one. And now we should have open. So the recoveries here are definitely probably better than this rank. Although that's not a crazy outplay. It's, it's just a catch. And then the guy's pushed up. The, he, he just shouldn't challenge there. He's last man back, right? So I don't know. Maybe a little mechanical. Ball's going to come high. He has already jumped, so great. Throw the ball into my corner. And now I want to turn the ball up the field quickly because he's committed. I might be able to get a demo on the guy's center here. Um, just because I know that guy's already out. And now we're going to have a 1v1 and this guy's low boost. If my teammate controls the ball there, we're fine. Oh my gosh, I missed that. I thought that would be top right. Um, we're just going to hit him with the whoops. Good thing I'm getting carried today. <laughs> I was trying to watch the guy on the left side of my screen so I could just barely beat him. But I I totally missed an open. Nice shot for the teammate. V-Spice. All right. We'll get a beat to the left. Going to get out, get boost ASAP, and then turn back on ball cam. Get to the center. My teammate gets beat, so I'm going to move up here. Just watching shot. I don't think he has angle. Recover off the backboard. Get a touch over one. Almost able to get a touch over the second. Get a hold power side so I can rotate out and then half flip. Grab corner boost and get back to the center. Looks like he has control of this. He's got a flip still, so I'm going to chill. Not the best control for me. I need to boost back as quick as possible. I'm able to get a demo on that guy. Going to watch shot here. 
Nice. And I should be first to this ball. Hit it off the wall. Play over one. Can't quite catch up to it. I hit it too hard. This looks awkward, so I'm just going to cover net. It looks like he's not going quick enough. Oh, that's my bad. I thought I could cut here. I thought he had uh, he had tossed this ball away, but that's my fault. If I go back there, I can save that shot pretty easily. This is kind of where, you know, shadowing, it's a lot based on reaction time, right? So I just totally mess up there. That's my fault. Big part of it is based on reaction time. This is going to come high. I want to kill this into my corner, if at all possible. That is not a great touch. I hit it oh, too far away, but we'll be okay. Teammate tosses ball a little bit. That's fine. He's grabbing boost. I'm just going to chill for him. There's no threat here. So I'm going to give us time to reset on defense and just keep this ball in the corner. Right? Just chill out. They've got no play here. Uh, that's a little risky for my teammate, though, tossing that ball. This might be tricky for us. I'm going to have to take time to grab boost up here and maybe my teammate can split it up. Oh, luckily he gets a touch. I can go on this ball. My teammate's behind. I'm going to focus on getting an up bounce and then I can go for a shot. Wow, he actually saves that. People have not been saving that shot so far in the series. I've never seen... This was the first guy to save a, a bounce dribble like that. This is going to come up the wall. I can maybe go for a air dribble, some sort of play. Ah, okay, it'll work. <laughs> so this is a super awkward setup. And in these situations, guys, when the setups are awkward, that's when you need to start learning how to use neutral jumps to quickly recover. Because the air dribble was already coming down quick, like on, it was on its downwards arc off the wall i have to use a neutral jump to catch up to it and luckily mechanics are able to bail us out there a little bit this is going to come off the wall i can chase this down and just make it awkward for him uh, unfortunately teammate misses there maybe get back here they can't score this i don't think nice he'll hit it out i'm going to play this to the half boost and then maybe go for a play he's going to try to stop me i'm going to look for a pass to my teammate nice try he might pass it back to me though almost here i'm going to fake challenge and then turn back Buys us a little bit of time. And maybe a goal? No. Unfortunately, my teammate is back getting corner boost. If my teammate plays on pads there, we get a free goal. But that's fine. He unfortunately forces the shot too soon. If their second man delays a little longer there, then his buddy can chase me down for a demo. And my life is really tough. But because he doesn't chase me for a demo, it's not too hard for me. And then once I realize that this guy's last man back, flicks are now allowed. As a general rule, guys, bounce dribbles with two guys back. If there's only one guy back, you're allowed to flick. And so I go for the flick there. We're able to get a beat. Here, I'm just going to try to delay, make this ball awkward, let my teammate go back. And I want to split that play up, but that ball is actually not threatening at all. So we'll be fine. I'm going to stay back post here. Just control our corner boost and play mid. Maybe my teammate can get a center here, but I'm just going to chill for a while. Not sure if we can. This ball is going to come center. I think I have him beat. I don't want to commit too hard, though, because there's no real play here. So I'm not going to flip into it. My teammate, I don't know if he's going, so I'm just going to chill. Uh, I'm going to keep chilling, wait for the pass. My teammate gets beat, so I'm going to try to get back. And we'll save my bad. This was an awkward play. I should have saved that. My teammate got beat there. I should have... I tried to control that ball into my corner, but very greedy. I should have just... I should have played safe. All right. We'll go back. Corner boost here. Ball's going to come side. I should be able to beat all the guys on the kickoff, so I can just go straight for a shot. I almost get a goal, and wow, these... These guys, their defense is much better than uh, much better than anybody we've seen so far in the series. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna shadow because I have nobody behind me. Normally, I don't like to shadow, but um, you know, normally you don't want to push up into your corner. But if nobody's behind me, then shadowing is obviously better than back post. Now I'm gonna get behind my teammate. He has a better angle because he's behind me. I can go back post and allow him to get the first challenge, and that should you do a win so that's game two definitely the competition's getting much much better um even like good shots are getting saved now all right game three we're playing with manhara against uh boofenschmerz or something here we go hold power side to recover whoop all right i'm dead i'm gonna get out and recover it looks like this ball might come center but he has probably first touch so i'm gonna keep chilling just play it into my corner delay for my buddy Able to get a touch over one. Now we want to get... We want to try to move through and get it center. Unfortunately, not the best play for me. I'm going to bump him again. Hopefully, my teammate can clear this out. That's all good. I think my teammate tried to clear it the wrong way. If he clears it to the right, this shouldn't be threatening. But he tried to clear it into the guy. 
All good. I'm going to say my bad. I left him back alone. That's, I mean, you should never leave your teammate back like that. So that's my fault. We're all good, though. Going to get a 50. Got to be careful of a shot coming on net here. So I'm just going to jump and hit it in the corner and keep things safe for a second. Teammate gets a nice beat. Uh, that's fine. If my teammate wants to keep going, let him go. I would like to go, but, you know, can't go until he lets, he lets go of the ball. Got to watch angle here. We're fine. Able to get a beat over one. Unfortunately, it bumps me. We could almost got a goal there. I'm care being careful of demo on me here. I'm just going to hit it up. At least make it awkward for him. He should be okay. Teammate looks like he still wants it. Watching shot. Uh, okay, we're fine. Having to play on our last leg here. My teammate is making very heavy touches, so we'll have to be... I'm going to be extra cautious because every touch he's made so far this game is throwing the ball away. So I'm trying to keep tabs on that. I want to go, but he's closer, so I just need to buy time for my teammate. Hit it into the corner, chill out, let my teammate get back. Try to make this easy on us until we can restart the play. Unfortunately, I make too heavy of a first touch, so we're going to have to reset, get by my teammate, and maybe he can produce something. That's going to go into the corner, so I'm just going to grab half boost. Watch shot. Nice. He overcommitted. If my teammate would let me go for the ball, we would have a lot of an easier time this game, but that's all right. I'm going to play back and try to buy time for my teammate here. Nice. They bump, they pummel the ball into the corner again. People at this rank love to do that. Just throw ball away over and over again. We should have been scored on many more times. Than we have been this game that's all right so once again they're gonna toss ball i'm gonna try to hit it to my teammate here that was probably a greedy pass i saw him cheating up i shouldn't do that i'm gonna grab corner boost and turn back and just watch shot um i'm playing a little bit greedy at this point just because just because i'm a little more skeptical of uh my teammate i'm gonna let him jump maybe he misses i'm gonna jump and get in the way i have a little bit better angle to clear into my corner than my teammate does coming from the net I'm going to cut off there just because I'm closer to the play. And now I'm going to get back post behind my uh, behind my teammate. Like every touch from my teammate is a very heavy touch that throws possession back to the opposing team. So you just have to play super cautious. I'm trying to control all of our boosts so we can get off defense eventually. He challenges. That's a very risky challenge. Unfortunately, my teammate throws ball again. So we'll have to chill. He looks like he still has this. So I'm going to wait. Maybe keep it in, in play. Almost. Teammate should have free ball here. Um, that's okay. I'm going to go for back corner boost. I think I have a little bit of time before I need to come center here. Nice. We have a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to touch one. Maybe try to get a second touch. Too heavy of a first touch. That's my fault. We should have scored there. I'm going to chill for a sec. I miss boost. Just watching shot. Keeping it in the corner as best I can. Teammate gets a good 50. Maybe we can score this. Try. Not able to get it hard enough. Go for the bump. He's super low boost. I'm just going to keep boost starving this guy. Teammate looks awkward, so he's going to need some help. Maybe this guy passes back. All right. This guy's going to boom it out of his corner, so we just got to chill. I'm just going to get behind my teammate. I don't, I don't like being in front of this guy. And I should not have challenged there, but we're going to be okay, I think. Definitely a greedy challenge for me. That ball's going to come super high and wide, so I'm just going to wait across. Uh, we should be fine. Oh, no. I did not think he had an angle. That's my bad. I'm going to calm my bad. Here we go. We can get this game back. Let's see it. Teammate gets beat. We're going to have to get back quick. Unfortunate. We might lose game three, folks. We'll give it a shot, though. We three goals in 46 seconds is not unheard of. Not unheard of. Especially at champ three. Teammate looks like he's going. He's unfortunately beat again. Going to get a little mechanical. Try to take this off defense quickly. Maybe get a center here. Not quite. Teammate's got to play more aggro than this if we're going to convert a goal. All right, I'm going to cut it off. Fake chow. I have no boost. That'll be game. So unfortunately, go down game three. Definitely could have played better. Chat, tell him, tell him, tell him to click, uh, click the next video here.
for, uh, for the next episode. Thanks for watching.